Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, I am bringing you an episode of Destiny 2, and for today, we're going to be talking about Scott Rifle specifically, and if I'm a little quiet than usual, it's because my girlfriend's sleeping right now, and I'd rather not wake her up because I would get punched in the face. So, with that being said, we're going to be talking about Scott Rifles, which ones you should get, and I'm trying to make this go out by Saturday. Today's Friday because there's one Scott Rifle that's going to be leaving by the end of season of undying but we'll get to that in a bit first and foremost we're going to be talking about night watch now night watch specifically is one of my favorite scout rifles in the game only because of the role that i ended up getting which is rapid hit and multi kill clip but so some of the some of the perks that you can expect from night watch would be things like subsistence outlaw rapid hit snapshot sights Threat detector for the first row and for the second row would be explosive payload, rampage, moving target, demolitionist, and multi kill clip. So, like I said, I ended up getting rapid hit with multi kill clip, and this role is beyond amazing. Uh, the only thing I kind of would love is if I got something like range or reload speed for the masterwork, but other than that, I love this role. This role is amazing. It puts in so much work the fast reload the multi kill clip this is probably going to be a role that i always keep i remember the day i got it it just overall i got really lucky with this role so i promise you guys this is going to be one of the weapons you're going to be using a lot in the next season for sure this is going to be a gun that i'm going to be using probably over randy's throwing knife to be honest but I feel like Randy's throwing knife is a close second to my to the role that I ended up getting for Night Watch. So if you guys don't know, you can get this from Gambit Prime or from The Reckoning, if I remember correctly, the likeness of Oric. I may be wrong on that though. So I'll probably have a list of where you can get each weapon, but ultimately, yeah, don't sleep on this gun, guys. So the next weapon is gonna be imperative. Now, real quick, I'm gonna make this video as fast as I can because I have to edit this and then have it up by tomorrow and not only that i don't want to make another 30 minute long video so the imperative is going to be the weapon that you need to guys get if you guys are interested in it i think it's well worth it it hits hard it does shoot slowly but like i said it does hit hard enough for me to actually warrant me using it not only that but that's the only scout rifle that can drop with no distractions which is a unique thing of it that's why i ended up farming for it as long as i did but if you guys are interested, you guys can see the mods that you can get on it. One of the roles that I would probably be most interested in is either No Distractions, Outlaw, maybe Field Prep with like Explosive Payload, Rampage, Multi-Kill Clip, Range Finder, or Snapshot Sights. Opening Shot really I don't care about most of the time. But this weapon's also good in PvP too, so overall this is a good gun as well. And this gun you get in the Vex Offensive. And honestly, this is a really easy farm. You can get the bounty from Ikora, complete that, go into the Vex Offensive, and it will might drop it for you as well. And from there, just rinse and repeat. So the next weapon that I'm suggesting you get is going to be a little annoying for some people, especially if you don't like PvP. But the next seasons, we're going to use a lot of mods that revolve around scout rifles. And I'm obviously talking about Randy's throwing knife. Now, I know a lot of people are like, oh, but I have to do this, I have to do that. Honestly, for me, in my opinion, it's well worth it considering you get rapid hit and kill clip. That is just amazing. Now, like I said, I'm probably going to use my Night Watch over Ra uh, Randy's throwing knife only because I got rapid hit with uh, multi kill clip. But let's say I didn't have Night Watch. Randy's would probably be the one I use the most so I don't really have to say much about Randy it's a PvP weapon that you have to grind through I've made a video about it if you guys don't know I'll have it linked on the bo bottom of the description but yeah it's a fairly simple weapon to get it's just very very lengthy and overall my opinion about this gun is probably the best weapon we've had PvP wise since it's right under Luna's Howl Not Forgotten and Recluse but it's like above all the other ones that's dropped. So in my opinion, don't sleep on this one. Get this gun as well. So just like my pulse rifle video, I will have honorable mentions that I will be listing right now. One of them being the Transfiguration, which is the scout rifle from Last Wish, the raid. And the only reason why I'm putting this in the honorable mention is the same thing why I put the Chattering Bone is because it's a raid weapon. 
Raid weapons I usually put in honorable mentions because they're not easy to farm. I mean, you can do them if you have three characters, you can do it three times. But the loot, the loot table for all of the raids is just kind of everywhere. So you getting a, a role that you actually want is just good luck. I mean, the, the, the good thing about the transfiguration weapon is that it only has four weapon, four mods. You could get something like triple tap, auto loading holster, zen moment, and rampage for your first one. And for your second one, you can get kill clip, ambitious assassin, opening shot, and moving target. Now, honestly, though, the one that would probably be the best one would be rampage with kill clip, because you could probably you could put a rampage spec on it to increase the time you have rampage. And with kill clip, I mean, this would be the beaut like this would be a beauty to use but unfortunately the one i have is the curated role which is outlaw and explosive payload which is a horrible combination i do not know who in bungie said this should be a curated role but you need to get fired because this is a horrible fucking this is horrible this is a, such a horrible pairing like i can't even proc outlaw half the time because of explosive payload but that's what they chose and whatever i, I can't change it but the only reason I'm putting this is because it can drop with Rampage and Kill Clip. The only thing that can drop with that is like what? Kindled Orchid, I think. So, in my opinion, this is a really good weapon that you could farm for if you do the raid a lot. If you don't, it's easily skippable. Don't, don't feel like this is a must. The next one, however, I feel like you should have it just because of how hard it hits. Which is Talons of the Eagle. So, Talons of the Eagle, for me, in my opinion, hits hard as fuck. Not only that, but the the rolls that you can get on it is pretty decent. I mean, it's not anything that's going to blow your mind. But you also got to remember that we got this weapon during Forsaken. So it's not going to see any of those like multi-kill clip rapid hit. It's not going to see any of that. But it hits hard. And that's what I love about it. So you can get Outlaw with Fully Auto Trigger, I guess. And then Rampage or Explosive Payload. I would probably get explosive payload with fully auto trigger that'd probably be a good roll but i mean honestly outlaw with rampage is probably going to be the best thing for you and that is the curated role well they don't have a curated role but that's the one i get the most for some reason so honestly i don't have much to say about this one other than it applies the, sa the, th the same thing applies that what i said about claws of the wolf is this gun it's been it's been here since forsaken it's not gonna go away, so it's, you can farm this. Don't feel like it's gonna be hard. Just give Saladin a bunch of tokens and he'll give it to you. That's it, I'm not even lying. So so that's it for the kinetic slot. We're gonna be talking about the energy slot now. And honestly, there's not as many good scout rifles on the, sec on the energy slot, in my opinion. Although there are a few good ones, but those are raid ones, so. Obviously, they're going to be in the honorable mentions, but I will explain why. So, the first one I'm actually going to talk about is a scout rifle you probably would not expect me to say is Oxygen SR3. So, I know I know people are going to already tell me, but that's garbage, Tony. Why are you tell, telling me this? I know. I know it's super garbage, but it's going to be really, really fun to use. Because I'm not going to lie. Oxygen SR3 is a lot of fun to use. But the reason I'm saying you should get this is because it has Dragonfly and Mega, Mega Nura. Meganora deals more damage based on the number of precision hits dealt beforehand. So if you keep getting headshots, 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 and then kill it, the damage is going to be more. Not only that, but with the barrier mods that you're going to be able to put on this, it's probably just going to be so much better because your Firefly will actually affect the barrier mod. So in my opinion, this would be a really interesting gun to use, especially since the new event is very is basically a horde mode this is going to be actually pretty good because people are going to be using scout rifles there's no way around it scout rifles and pulse rifles and ars so in my opinion oxygen has more of a fighting chance now than it ever has especially since it's very very scout rifle intensive right now so in my opinion oxygen people are going to be using it i'm going to be using it and yeah, just don't sleep on it. And the quest is honestly not that hard. If you guys need a video, I'll have my video on it. On the Oh, I didn't do a video on this one. I could do a video if people want me to. It's not that hard. But I'll probably have like what you need to do right now to get it. 
or I'll probably put it beforehand, but yeah, this gun's not that hard to get. It hits fairly decent, but the Firefly is really what makes it really fun. The unfortunate thing is that Firefly doesn't do enough damage for people to feel like it's worth using. But in my opinion, like I said, once Season of Dawn comes in, that's when people are going to start using it more. That's when people are going to start noticing like, hey, maybe Oxygen's not that bad, especially in a Horde mode type situation. So onto the next one is going to be Black Scorpion 4SR. So the reason I put this one is not because it hits hard or because any other reason the only reason i put this is because it actually is a full auto now i know for a lot of people it's like well th why does that matter well because it's it's in the it's in a really unique frame it's called viced rapid fire so it's a full auto has deeper ammo res reserves and slightly faster reload when magazine is empty now when you combine all that with the possible possible rolls that it can drop with you can you start to like really see like oh man maybe this can be really fun so the first row is hit fire grip grave robber auto loading holsters and moment moving target triple tap and high impact reserves I'm not gonna lie the first row i would have loved to see like outlaw maybe rangefinder but the second one the second column is where we see rangefinder genesis opening shot outlaw rampage dragonfly snapshot sites so if it was if it was me, what what would I be looking for? To be honest, I would probably be looking for moving target and rampage for PVE. Maybe maybe not moving target. Maybe like triple tap or high impact reserves. Auto loading holster probably would entice me a little more as well. But in general, outlaw and rampage would probably be the ones that I go for like all the time. So. Yeah, I, the only reason I put this is because it's good in PvP. It'll be nice in PvE, especially, like I said, scouts are getting more of a look into this season. And honestly, I did not want to put the raid scouts as a first pick because, like I said, they're not that easy to farm. But the Viced, or I mean the Black Scorpion, the way you get that is you just give tokens to, or not tokens, you give weapon parts to Banshee that's how you get that so it's an easy farm if you have a lot of weapon parts I have like 3,000 I think so overall this is just something that could be really useful to you if you actually want to get it so the next one is actually not easy to farm as well it's vouch safe and that's the scout rifle from Dr the dreaming city the only reason why I put this again is because I don't want to put the raid ones as my first choices even though they were the reason I put this one is because I actually love how it shoots. It feels smooth. I love it. But it also comes with rapid hit, outlaw, explosive payload, fully auto trigger system, firmly planted. There's a there's a few rolls that I would like to get on this. Ultimately, the one that I ended up getting was fully auto trigger system with outlaw. I probably would have preferred rapid hit. I just love how rapid hit feels because I just need to get hit sh headshots, not actual kills. But probably fully auto trigger system with rapid hit would be nice maybe f firmly planted but again for pve i would probably have gotten explosive payload or actually dragonfly with ambitious assassin so yeah vouchsafe this is not an easy weapon to get i know this but just do stuff around the dreaming city like bounties, the portals, like just stuff around. You can do the dungeon. There's a, there's a lot of stuff to do in Dreaming City, but just know that you're gonna be fighting a big pool of other like weapons and armor as well. So I wouldn't say this is an honorable mention, but it's close. So let's get on to the actual honorable mentions, which are the no feelings for the Scourge of the Past raid. Now, the reason I put this one is because I, it has a lot of weapons that, or has a lot of rolls that it can roll with that I actually do think are pretty cool. But the one that I ended up getting was Mulligan and Box Breathing. I hate this roll. I really do. I, in my honest opinion, like if you asked me what I would love, I would probably tell you Rapid Hit with Rampage, to be honest. Like, I feel like that would be great. Obviously, Outlaw and Kill Clip would be amazing too, but Rapid Hit and like Rampage are just effortless to me. So, 
Rapid Hit and Rampage like are good for PvE or PvP. Same thing with Outlaw and Kill Clip. I ended up getting Box Breathing on mine, which I I like the idea of it, but I just wish Box Breathing procced a little faster, at least on Scout Rifles, because at the moment, or either procced faster or stayed with a Scout Rifle, because it just feels weird to shoot once every like second or two. It feels really strange. But like I said, the only way to get this is through the Scourge of the Past raid, and if you haven't done that, then I mean, it's it's a bitch, I'm not gonna lie. Especially finding people that still do that raid. So, I mean, honestly, in my opinion, I love this weapon. If Ada was selling it as a blueprint, I would definitely do it. And last but not least, we have Kalasai Noblesse, which is a scout rifle from Crown of Sorrows. In my opinion, this weapon is amazing because some of the roles that you'll be able to get when you combine this with barrier mods, it's gonna make this even better. So the role I ended up getting was Disruption Break, which is gonna leave the Shielded Knights vulnerable even more, which means you can do more bonus damage with a kinetic weapon, which means my Izanagi is gonna destroy. So, no, Kalasai No Bless is on, the only reason I'm putting it up here is aside from I actually love the way it shoots, is that it drops with Disruption Break, and disruption break will be just amazing in the next in the next uh, season but it also drops with like outlaw multi kill clip rampage range finder dragonfly moving target it, it drops with a lot of th cool things so if you guys are interested this is an amazing weapon to have not only that but disruption break like i said it's going to be valuable for high end pve content but if you're looking for like pvp pve or pvp content Outlaw with Rampage, Outlaw with Multi-Kill Clip. Yeah, this this common, this common weapon has so many combinations that could just be really gross in the right hands. And yeah, I'm really excited for the new weapon changes, although I do think that Bungie manipulating the meta with these type of things is just kind of stupid in my opinion. But ultimately, I mean, we can't really do much of anything about it, but I can hopefully I can at least help you guys find new weapons that you guys can at least use and be like oh, i guess this is uh, okay or hey i like this you know so other than that let me know what you guys think about this video let me know what you guys think about the weapon choices that i have if you guys have any other weapon choices that you guys want to point out leave them in the comments below let's have a conversation don't forget to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below and i will see you guys later